She who signed a ridicule Sinumbu and National Assembly and proposes bill for change of Nigeria to escape debt repayment. Following the change of Nigeria National Anthem to the first post-colonial composition of Nigeria we held the after independence in 1960, Senator Shehusani has seemingly ridiculed President Bola Tsunambu and the National Assembly over their priorities in governance and subsequently proposed for an act to change the name of Nigeria. President Bola Tsunambu signed the National Anthem Act into law without hesitation. Senator She Husseini proposed three new names for the country. The National Assembly had in the passage of the Reversal Act to the first post-colonial national anthem emphasized that the imbibing of the old national anthem by Nigerians would bring about a change of value system and more commitment of the country's nation's building. She Husseini articulated that the change of the name of Nigeria would imply that the old Nigeria is dead and the new Nigeria will not bear the debt burden of the debt of the dead Nigeria. According to Sani, he proposed a bill for act to change the name of Nigeria to Federal Republic of Songhai, explaining that the part of Nigeria was once part of Songhai Empire. Number two, United African Republic. Number three, Federal Republic of Azi Kenya, noting coin from Azikiwe, the most passionate Nigerian leader ever. Sani thereafter argued, one of the advantages of changing our name is to tell China that Nigeria has died and we cannot pay them their money, the late Nigeria borrowed. <laughs> your level of sarcasm is to be studied. And the way you are playful about you, they playfully they shoot your arrows. You understand? <laughs> you still they hit the nail for head. Okay. <laughs> Tony B is just disappointing at all. But they tell you, you don't understand. Me, I am very disappointed in him. You know why? You know why somebody is, how would I put it? Somebody for the longest time, you just be like, there's a particular person in office who will say, ah, everybody, everybody knows that this person don't try. And this person make them give them the opportunity to head. Maybe, maybe they even start from head of department. Maybe they come, they give this person promotion, we say, we'll lift them up. Do you understand? And then, after so many years, it now happens that they can't recognize this person. That position, maybe everybody they saying go reach, you can't reach her. And now, after reaching it, you can start to misbehave. Misbehave, what I mean, we say, they feel, say, I think they, we be saying they work that time, and they do everything. So now, so you go, you know, make people that time, they go, they work, make people, they very productive. But for a year, we see them seeing now, say, now even as you can't get that position, now they can't see, they don't really get anything to offer. You understand? Uh -huh. True, true. With this new name, we will defeat China in the world court that it was Nigeria that borrowed money from them and it is dead. Le Baton. Tenable is just disappointing at all level. I placed him on highest, but I think he does not know what he's doing right now. I notice he just wants to make name for himself to Nigeria. But at every meaningless issue, Mr. President, please wake up to iron Nigerians' issue. People are dying. My dad already took him. Say, so he be like, he just won't make name for himself. And that is what he has done. The man just won't bear the title. Bola Tunabu, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. What time? And he has bought it. He don't bear my beard in the speaker. Barry's slogan was changed, but this is the real season of change. <laughs> You wish to leave me alone. Hmm. Uncle Sani, honestly, we are all for it. Superstitious belief of this side of the country is about to ruin us. They have never faced reality. Reason they have been promoting mega choices and shying away from facts. This song shapes no one mind. Of course, how many people send your anthem even among the leaders? Yes, now. Let us try the last paragraph. It's me, Woko. <laughs> you wish to leave me a beg. Tenebu, who called himself president, cannot even recite the so-called national anthem. This will be the biggest star scam in the world. I did tell you, because I don't understand why you will come outside and you will say you won't go back. You won't go back. You won't they sing a national anthem. We'll be saying, no, be you great. Nobody can relate with the so-called national anthem. 
But sit down with and come out we could be late with it very well. In fact, there was a prayer point. Eh? He remained to open church for that prayer. You have made a vital point. They should follow the advice very seriously and do the needful before it is too late. Thank you, sir, for the recommendation. Thank you. Thank you, Olaji Shehu. But to me, I thought our legislations are competent enough to understand Nigeria's woes. I never believed that Nigeria legislation would be so naive to the extent that they leave a burning issue at hand and be filling us with the national anthem. Shame on the so-called senators and reps. Shame on them all. They just they collect our money, they robust. And they tell you, what they are doing is they are collecting our money, eating our money without any improvement at all. They are not doing anything. These people, you know, when I finally see these people for the person, the kind of people they are, is you see that during that Twitter ban. Ah, how long ago? Now that time I looked these people. I looked them from head to toe and I shook my head. Why? During the Twitter ban, the ban, they set that ban in the morning. Before evening, that ban don't take effect. Tell me why these people, if they won't do issues, will be saying no concern our growth, you know, concern our progress, you know, in any way affect the good of the people, then go do them in the space of one hour, 24 hours. But when it is issue that is going to actually help us grow, if not, the thing will be say go help me and you, make we grow well, make you suggest, you understand, lie, lie. These people go do it in, then no go do them. That I time they will remain for that place for like 20 years. How they tell you? <laughs> okay. I'm a supporter of Shehu and Yes, now let us look into it. Maybe they say this particular one will bring us together, the particular national anthem. It could bring us together. I just didn't really look them. I didn't really look them. But the Senate and represent in Nigeria, a country that tied herself to dollar gain with zero production exportation and no exchange rate include that that and their president is going from pillar to post begging people to come and in, in, invest in a country where the multinationals in that country have almost finished leaving the country put it so that it will sound well for a year if it is so people who are bankrupt would have been changing their names anyhow to avert debt repayments now your personality is the one owing, not the name. If you like, change your name to anything. You are vicariously responsible to them. Oh, nine be say you know no saying a sarcasm nine be do. Eh? You know no since the federal government saying the name and thing is going to bring us closer and kenico kenico. It is jokes on them now. Jokes on them. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest.